welcome back to part three of In Pursuit of the Gun Show. This time I'm going to give you a quick overview of the basic anabolic hypertrophy training program I'm following. It's a four day split alternating between lower body and upper body workouts. Let's start off by taking a look at a sample lower body workout. So I'm starting off here with squats performed in the five to 15 repetition range depending on what point of the program you're at. Control each repetition through a full range of motion, focusing on making the eccentric or negative portion of each repetition last twice as long as the positive or concentric portion. Remember that on your last set, you're going to take it to complete fatigue and then perform a drop set, reducing the weight by about 30 to 40 percent and then going to fatigue again. Superset your squats with a hamstring exercise, such as leg curls or glute hamstring raises if you have access to a GHR machine. Remember to perform a drop set on your final set. The next lower body superset starts off with deadlifts. The same training principles apply here. So make sure you control the eccentric, explode on the concentric, and avoid bouncing off the floor at the bottom of each repetition. Again, when you reach fatigue on your final set, drop set to a lighter weight and continue until you reach fatigue a second time. Superset your deadlifts with a step up or lunge variation, or you can perform leg extensions if you have access to a leg extension machine. Finish each lower body workout with a challenging core exercise, such as hanging leg raises or ab wheel rollouts. Now let's take a look at a sample upper body workout, starting with pull-ups. Now if you can't perform a body weight pull-up, you could always do assisted pull-ups or use the lat pull-down machine. Really focus on using a slow, controlled, full range of motion while creating as much tension as you can in the lats, rather than just trying to bang out as many reps as possible. Superset your pull-ups with some form of overhead press. Keep in mind with the slower tempo and greater time under tension used in this program, these exercises can seem far more challenging than you'd expect, as indicated by the ridiculous faces I'm making here. The next antagonist superset for upper body combines a roll variation with a press variation. Again, it's worth mentioning that with this slower speed and the concentrated effort you're using on every repetition, you might have to use a little bit lighter weight than you're typically used to with these exercises, at least initially. Superset the row with a variation of a chest press or dips. If you choose to use dips as shown here, try to lean forward slightly with each repetition to involve your chest to a slightly greater degree. Now that you're done the compound exercises, it's time to finish off the workout with some isolation work. Over the next few videos, I'll be getting into more detail about the specific bicep and tricep exercises we'll be using in this program. In pursuit of the gun show. I want to 
put some meat on these bad boys. Okay, to begin with, let's take a look at where my bicep measurements currently are at. Oh, the shame.